there was a question in one of the Facebook groups that I'm in today about how to make a um, outline of text rather than to have it a solid letters. So I'm going to show you right quick how to do that. I'll just type the letter A. I'll turn it bold and enlarge it so that it's easier for you to see. Okay. The easiest way I know how to do this is to just click the X down here in front of your color strip and that will turn the fill off and then hold your shift key and click on a color, any color, it doesn't matter, and it will give you a stroke. Now, mine's hard to see because it's probably set at less than a half a pixel or a half a pixel. So go to fill and stroke and stroke style and change your width um, until you get the thickness that you want. And then what you're going to want to do is go to path, stroke to path, because this is a stroke now. It's not text or an object um, like a circle or a rectangle. So make sure that you do stroke to path, because if you do object to path, what it's going to do, if you look down at your information bar, is it's going to group it. And then... If you try to do anything like a linked offset, you normally would get a little diamond up here that you would left click and pull up on, but you can't because it's grouped. So um, to avoid um, you know other issues with your with your text, like maybe even in design space, whenever you're using a stroke, you should do path stroke to path, okay? Now I have a path of 34 nodes. I don't have it grouped, and I can go to path linked offset, and I get my little diamond to pull up on to add um, an offset. Now keep in mind that this is a stroke. It's not solid, so the offset is going to follow the stroke, all right? But I just wanted to show you um, that if you do um, object to path, it's going to group it, okay? And you don't want that. You want to do a stroke to path. So I hope this is helpful for someone. Thanks for watching.